Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use an old car battery as a power source during power outages brought about by hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquake, and even man-made disasters that could put you out of power. So instead of trading in our old car battery to get a 5 to $6 discount, I opted to keep this battery to use it as an emergency power source to charge our mobile phones, tablets, rechargeable lamp, USB powered electric fan, small TV, laptop, and other gadgets that you may think of. Being able to charge your mobile phones during emergency situations would make you be able to contact the authorities to help you out, reach your relatives or loved ones to update them of your situation. The things that we will need are of course an old car battery, a battery charger, and a power inverter which converts 12 volts into one 220 socket volt and two 5 volt USB sockets. The first thing that we will need to do is connect the red cable of the battery charger. This is the battery charger. We'll connect it to the positive terminal. The next thing is we will connect the black cable to the negative terminal. So this would show you the remaining power that's available on the battery. And as you can see, let me check, it has 12.2 volts remaining. Usually a car battery will need a 12.6 volt to start a car. Okay. So the next thing is we will have to connect the power cable to our 220 volt socket to start charging this battery. Now it's charging. Depending on your battery's remaining power, Charging would normally last between 8 to 12 hours. So since this still has some 12.2 volts, we will temporarily stop charging it and connect this power inverter into the terminal of this car battery. So we'll stop charging charging this for now okay I removed the clamp from the battery terminal and remove the power source next is we will connect this power inverter into the battery terminal The red, the red cable goes to the positive as usual and the black goes into the negative terminal. This power inverter has one 220 volt socket and two 5 volt USB sockets. It also has a digital display that shows you the battery voltage and the output voltage. Let me show it to you. We connect this to the positive terminal, the one that has a plus sign, and this one in the negative terminal. Then let's power it on. 
Let's go into sound. Oh, sorry. Now, let's charge our mobile phone. To demonstrate to you how simple it is to charge your mobile phone by connecting the USB cables to the USB port of this power inverter and the other end going into the socket of your mobile phone. See, it turned on and it shows it's charging. You can also use this power inverter to power on your USB electric fan. So let's demonstrate this one. Turn on this electric fan. There you go. Oops. I think it's kind of loose. Let me check that. Huh? Okay. It's kind of loose. That's how it is. That's how to use it. And you can also use this to power or to charge your emergency lamp. This is an emergency lamp. It's USB powered and also solar powered. charge it there it is it's not it's, the red light shows means it is charging when it's once it turns green it means it's already fully charged I will put a link below to give you an idea where you can buy this car battery charger and power inverter. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.